afternoon to all of you. What we are going to talk today is uh, actually a very important and a very uh, necessary topic. So, with this we will actually uh, begin with uh, the basic definitions of editing and with editing we, we all know that editing is basically changing the appearance or the course of a certain object. It may be, uh, so editing a photograph is also called editing. Uh, if we change some photograph, we change the background of the photograph, it is called editing the photograph, but there is no video there, right. So, uh, and editing a video is actually, uh, if you have shot some particular sequence, we can edit that video and make another new video out of that. So, there are diff actually examples where if we do certain audio editing, we can make a complete new dialogue track of the old uh, video which was recorded with some other dialogue. So, if I change the dialogue track, if I do the audio editing, then maybe we will change the complete course of this thing. So, there are different uh, types of editing available. So, editing as a word I am not right now discussing. What I am now directly going into is something which is related to our work. So, we actually have to do two types of editing. One is the inter frame editing which is within the frame that uh, the within the frame like there are many objects within the frame. Suppose we are shooting the video right now, the cameraman has to be bothered about the inter frame editing. The inter frame editing is typically like uh, what is the uh, like you can see a picture in picture now. So, now uh, what is the kind of uh, layout the person has been shot at? What is uh, what is coming in the background? Is the color of the background and the foreground giving me enough contrast? Uh, so these kind of things depend on interframe editing. That is why we put these backgrounds. And if you go to the CD Studio, you will see not one background. There are multiple backgrounds here. So suppose I wear a blue shirt, then they will replace this with orange, or they will replace it with green, or whatever. So this is why is this required? Because you do interframe editing to start with. So the uh, I am sure you do this every day. But when I say that this is interframe editing, then you suddenly have some lines on your forehead. So, what is interframe editing? But this is interframe editing which you do every day in and day out. After the interframe editing, which is uh, within the uh, particular frame, then we also have intraframe editing, which is between two frames. This is what typically we do with video editing. There are there is a video which is a sequence of frames, what Sajjan explained that video is the sequence of frames and we do editing within those frames. And uh, what is that editing then? So, there are two types of editing everybody knows this. There is a linear video edit which is happening right now, which he is doing, which is online, which is live. So, if I make a mistake here, he is not showing my video, he is showing the slide. If I go outside the camera, then he is showing the slide. Suppose I am inside the camera, I am talking something important, he will show my face. So, similarly in, in cricket match you could have seen that whenever there is a ball hit somewhere, the, the camera will follow the ball. So, actually it is not the camera which follows the ball, camera there are multiple cameras which are following the ball. It is the editor who will follow the ball. It is the editor who will choose the best possible angle which will show the action clearly and he will show that particular camera. So, that is actually the the, uh, the classic style of editing the editor is doing, so that we get the feeling that okay, we could understand everything what happened there. So, like if you have uh, sub something which is happening in that corner of the stadium and there is a camera there, then you can definitely put a cam and we put that video on right now. So, this is linear editing with available all the available video inputs are put together on a uh, monitor and you choose the best video input and it is shown that is video uh, online linear editing. And then there is something called non-linear editing which we all do, right. Non-linear editing it watch, we do, we have the videos which is already stored somewhere on a tape or on a computer and then we edit those videos uh, offline when it is not going live. So, we later on we take a call on that and we do it afterwards. I have some very interesting history to share with you. So, the first uh, non-linear editing machine was uh, created in 1971, this was before I was born. So, uh, it was created in 1971 and uh, that video editing system had two monitors, uh, black and white monitors of course that time. One was a preview monitor and uh, one was a final video monitor and you could see the preview monitor 
uh, you can play some videos there and then you can see the output if you want to edit. They also had a light pen with which you could cut the videos and join them and other things. And that was happening on another uh, console. Uh, uh, so unfortunately, I do not have a photograph of that. I searched on the net, but there is no photograph of that system. But it is written there that uh, the hard disk of these two uh, video systems were of the size of a washing machine. So, what you see here is actually uh, uh, a reduced version of the hard disk. But uh, in 1970, when, when there was the first video editing machine, the hard disk was of size of a washing machine. So, in due course of time, you can imagine washing machine will come to this size, right? So, <laughs> but only if the clothes get smaller, that is ok. But, uh, ok. So, why do we do editing? Finally, uh, the question is, ye sara jamela kyu hai? Why, why is the editing? So, there are certain goals why we want to do editing. And the goals are, uh, the first and the foremost goal is uh, to remove the unwanted footage. We have uh, shot some things and we do not want that footage. So, what we do is we, we remove that and that is called uh, editing. That is one, one of the very important reasons why we want to do editing. Because we can shoot lot of things, but we do not want all of them to be present there. So, we remove that. From the unwanted thing, we want to choose the best, right. So, if we remove the rest of the thing, then we have certain footage with us. Now, how to select the best footage out of that is also kind of editing what we do. So, we, we choose the best footage. All these things when they are put together will should create a flow because uh, that is why we are doing these videos. If you want to create some films, you want to create some videos, it is to explain certain concept, it is to explain certain process, it is explain to give some certain information and that information should have a flow. So, for example, a film has the climax in the beginning and the film uh, introduction in the end will not have a flow, right. So, the flow should have a logical uh, reason to follow. So, that is where editing comes into picture, even though uh, all of you must, must be knowing that the film is not shot actually as it is happening in the story, right. So, they will not shoot the first scene uh, before the last scene. It may happen that they will shoot the climax first and then after 6 months they will shoot the introduction shot. But on the screen we will see the introduction shot first and the climax comes at the end. So, uh, editing is actually used for that, but it cannot happen in linear video, right. So, you cannot have the last over first uh, in cricket match and you cannot have the first over or the toss after that. So, it is a linear thing. So, these are uh, these are some of the things, but still even in linear you have to have a flow. So, if somebody has uh, is bowling a ball and then somebody is hitting the ball. So, you, you have to show that flow, otherwise the editing will not make any sense. So, apart from uh, these edit uh, features, there are lot of other features which we have which have been added uh, very recently into the definition of editing itself. Uh, according to me, uh, uh, editing will be uh, restricted to the top 3, but these also come under editing. And now, I can ask you that, uh, then which kind of editing is this to add graphics, music and other uh, visual effects? This is inter frame editing. So, within, within the frame, we are doing this. Suppose, uh, we want some uh, maybe uh, in the hand of uh, Krishna, they, they want some Sudarshan chakra to be inserted. Now, that is added by graphics. So, this is happening within the frame. So, this is additional thing. We also have uh, something where we uh, change a particular uh, type of video, we, we change, we alter the style. So, if we have shot in, for example, Rangde Basanti was shot today, right? And they have certain shots of uh, uh, maybe Bhagat Singh and Rajguru, which are in uh, before 1947. And when you see the film, you feel that it is a period film, right. So, you can see the texture, you can see the scratches, you can see the, the luster is gone on the film. So, you can really make it, ok fine, we, we are able to see some film which is maybe shot in 1920s. So, you will believe that. So, that is adding the style and changing the style. You also have something which is called pace. So, pace is the speed of uh, storytelling. So, certain things you want to show it at a faster pace and uh, certain things you want to have it at a slower pace. I am not talking about slow motion and a fast motion here. It is about the storytelling part. So, it is uh, if you want to 
uh, wrap it up into 3 minutes the entire uh, what you call say flashback then it is possible to have it in 3 minutes. If you can just jump from one shot to another very fast then you can have a uh, fast pace of the film. So, what are the different types of editing actually this is uh, far more uh, definition oriented, but uh, the more we start understanding it it is it becomes real fun ok. So, I, I broadly could categorize editing into four types. So, one of them is uh, combined editing where we combine various shots on maybe various locations and uh, different characters, but a very uh, the message is common right. The message is common the shots are shot at different places uh, their characters can be different. So, it is a com combined editing where uh, we, we combine shots to create a single message. The other type is condensed editing where we will say that we have to shorten the time. So, we, we do not have to show it real time. So, uh, we have to shorten the time by putting video and uh, we can retain the essence of the content even if we have the shorter version of this. We can also have expanded editing. So, there are certain types of editing where the actual action may be of 1 minute or 2 minutes, but we can see it for 1 hour. So, that is expanded editing where you again show various shots and finally, come up with a bigger video than actual timing of the shot. And then the last which is the most important thing for us is the corrective editing. Corrective editing is basically to correct the mistakes which have happened in the video. So, it can be uh, actually edited very creatively, so that the viewer will not even feel that there was a mistake in that time. So, for example, now when we are editing suppose suddenly I say ok what is the time and you do not have to keep this sentence in the video and you have to cut this sentence and then you have my face already and you cannot do anything else and how do you cut this sentence. So, if you have audience video at that time you can insert that video and then remove that cut and nobody will be able to see that I just change from this face to this face. So, these are some very very simple, but very effective ways of corrective editing. So, that is where it is uh, most relevant to us because we, we will not use uh, other three very often, but I will simply show you some examples where we will also use the other formats of editing what I have displayed now. Any guesses uh, can you can you tell me examples of combined editing? Everybody understood the definition of combined editing right? Huh? Which one? Ok. Right. So, if you have yourself uh, done different show all right. Light flashback. Uh, yeah, but that can be condensed editing na. you have to reduce. So, flashback may be of 5 years may 5 sal BA pad raha tha. So, wo 5 sal 5 sal nahi dikha sakta na main. So, I have to show it in 5 minute. So, condensed editing ho gaya. So, what is huh? outdoor shooting yeah, but what is the message? Uh, do not uh, give me uh, situations, you can give me a product itself, koi ready made up film, gana, koi video, up koi example ke pe batao, combined editing ka kya ho sakta hai? Huh? Which one? Which one? I did not get it. Huh? Lajja movie. Yeah, but wo movie to bahut bada hai yaar, usme se aisa koi sequence, koi sequence batao ya. Ah, okay. Same story in five locations. Okay. Anything else? Documentary. Bahut sare hai documentary film. Koi ek. Huh? Idea. Uh, Abhishek Bachchan is. Ha ha. Correct. So he is asking that question at the same time to everybody. Pull banna chahiye ki nahi, and then everybody is asking. Bale hume wo. एक शॉट दिख रहा है 10 बजकर 5 मिनट बजकर 10 सेकंड पे दूसरा दिख रहा है 11 सेकंड पे लेकिन उनको दिखाना ये है कि 10 बजकर 10 सेकंड पे ही सबने एसएमएस किया है राइट तो वो उस तरह से दिखाते हैं क्योंकि 10 सेकंड में ऐड खत्म हो जाती है तो उसमें हमें 15 लोगों के रिस्पोंसेस एक साथ दिखाई देते हैं बट एक साथ अगर स्क्रीन भर जाएगा ना पूरा इसलिए एक के बाद एक दिखाते हैं फिर भी फीलिंग यही होता है कि उसी टाइम पे सबने एसएमएस किया होगा राइट 
तो अगर हम एक घंटा भी ये देखते हैं तो हमें लगता है कि एक ही समय पे चल रहा है ये सब कुछ ओके दैट इज वेरी गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ कंबाइंड एडिटिंग एनीथिंग एल्स हाँ ऑडियंस ऑडियंस पोलिंग ओके या बट दैट इज टाइम इज पासिंग अवे ना इट इज नॉट एट द सेम टाइम विच इज है ओके बट दैट इज ऑल्सो एक्सपांड एडिटिंग इन सेंस यू कैन ओके आई आई कम टू दैट Anybody else has different? Mila Sur Mira. Yeah, correct. That is, that is one of one of the example. वो हो गया ना अभी. अभी फिर और idea चुराओ मत. ठीक है. वो हो चुका सर जी. Okay. So what uh, Sachin said was already uh, also in my mind. So I had written that Mila Sur Mira Tumara. Because that was one theme uh, done by so many people. and uh, the thought is the same different locations different shot different people right so combine editing like that uh, television serials also is a example because television serial you have aaj is ghar mein ye ho raha hai usi time pe dusre ghar mein kuch ho raha hai right so parallel processing chal raha hai beech mein hafte guzar rahe hain lekin fir bhi wo samay wahi pe lock karke rakha hai unhone so it is a very good example of uh, showing a parallel cutting so what they do is they show short show a sequence in um hero's house and then they cut to heroine's house and sequence is going on in between again they come to hero's house they come to heroine's house so because of the dialogues are relevant to some particular action then you feel ki abhi bhi wahi samay hai dono jagah pe dono gharon mein beech mein hafte guzar gaye lekin wo samay wahi locked hai unka so these are <coughs> some kind of techniques used by the television serial people to do that right okay so let's see some examples of condensed editing now we have to shorten the length of the video but the the essence of the video should remain the same what is the example of condensed video highlights of a match highlights of a cricket match yeah that is correct 5 ghante ko aadhe ghante mein dikha dete hain correct aur kuch ha movie ka trailer correct that is good very good anything else advertise any advertise any advertise but they don't reduce time na नहीं 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 वो तो ड्यूरेशन छोटा कर दिया है वो ऐड का ही ड्यूरेशन छोटा है लेकिन कौन सी ऐड मतलब मतलब कैलाश जीवन के ऐड कैसे कंडेंसेशन ऑफ टाइम है नहीं 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 ये नहीं वो अलग उसमें तुम्हें जो कहना है वो अलग पॉइंट है फॉर एग्जांपल कि हमारे पाँव में यू हैव सपोज क्या दरारें पड़ गई है और वो एक शॉट है कैला जीवन लगाया पाँच सेकंड के बाद नहीं है ठीक है वो छः महीने में हो जाता है एक्चुअली बट वो पाँच सेकंड में दिखा देते हैं वहाँ पे दैट इज कंडेंसिंग द टाइम ठीक है सो एड इज अ एग्जांपल ऑफ कंडेंस एडिटिंग बट इन दिस सेंस नॉट इन द अदर सेंस सो वहाँ टाइम ज़्यादा है वहाँ पैसा नहीं देना पड़ता है वहाँ इसलिए बड़ी एड दिखा देते हैं टी वी पैसा देना पड़ता है पर सेकेंड इसलिए कम छोटी एड दिखा देते बट दैट इज़ नॉट कंडेंसिंग द टाइम इसेंस सेम रहना चाहिए ना सो इसेंस सेम रहना है तो फिर ये पॉइंट है सो Anything else? Car chase. Car chase. Huh? Car chase. Car chase. Car chase. Okay. So I had written example of news channels. So, पूरे दिन कोई meeting चली, उसका एक minute में आ जाता है response वहाँ पे, ठीक है? और उसके shots चार पांच आ जाते हैं कि उसमें the person came, gave away awards, एक speech दिया और चला गया. ये सब जो था दो घंटे का program, वो दो minute में हो जाता है. वो स्पीच दिया वो भी उसको इतने अच्छे से कंडेंस करते हैं कि उसके सारे हाइलाइट्स तो आ जाते हैं उसमें लेकिन पूरा स्पीच नहीं सुनना पड़ता है हमें सो शरद पवार केम टू द रैली एंड एड्रेस द रैली इसके बारे में जब आता है शॉर्ट सो ही टच बेस सम पॉइंट्स सो द एडिटर एग्जैक्टली नोज कि ये सारे पॉइंट्स में से इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स क्या होने चाहिए तो वो अगर बोल रहे हैं कि माननीय जो भी बैठे हैं स्टेज पर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी का एडिटिंग चलेगा तो वो कितने लोग बैठे उनके नाम होते होते ही दो मिनट हो जाएंगे so this kind of things will happen if the editor is not good so there are different types of editing where you have to get the essence right but you don't have the time so cricket match highlights is one more thing in our parlance hamare liye e learning ke domain mein laboratory videos is one very important thing suppose you do some experiment where you put a liquid into a tube aur usko aadha ghanta ubalna hai abhi to abhi aadha ghanta dikha nahi sakte na so you just show that and then just fast forward it so you just show a shot of it is boiling already right 
सिमिलर थिंग इज अबाउट कुकर इशूज जो खाना खजाना ठीक है वो बाईस मिनट में चार चीजें बना के चले जाते हैं वो लोग और घर पे बनाने को बैठो तो वो चार घंटे में भी नहीं होती है सो दिस इज सो दे हैव थिंग्स रेडी विद देम एंड दे जस्ट शो थिंग्स कि अगर आधा घंटा ओवन में रखने के बाद ऐसा दिखेगा ये आधे मिनट में ही दिखा देते हैं वो सो दैट इज कंडेंसिंग द टाइम ओके एक्सपांडेड एडिटिंग नाउ द रिवर्स ऑफ दिस सो समय छोटा है बट वीडियो देखते हैं तो बहुत बड़ा लगता है एग्जैक्टली exactly उल्टा एनी एग्जाम्पल टीवी सीरियल या करेक्ट वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल्स इज टीवी सीरियल एनीथिंग एल्स एक्शन रिप्ले इन ए क्रिकेट मैच राइट एनीथिंग एल्स हिंदी फिल्म ही नहीं देखते हाँ समाइम न्यूज चैनल हाँ रिपीट रिपीट कर करके इतना बड़ा कर देते हैं उसको फिल्म में देखा है क्या कि कोई एकदम रॉक क्लिफ पे लटक रहा है और लटक रहा है मतलब वो लटक ही रहा है पंद्रह मिनट तक वो ना गिरता है ना ऊपर आता है और तब तक बाकी उधर से पुलिस आ रही है इधर से हीरोइन आ रही है उधर से विलन आ रहा है सबका आने जाने का टाइमिंग सब करने मतलब एक्सपांड कर कर के उसको लटका के रखते हैं तब तक वो हो सकता है वो एक मिनट ही लटक पाएगा लेकिन उसको एक्सपांडेड टाइम में या फिर यू कड सीन समवेयर फिर इज बॉम्ब इज प्लांटेड इन ऑडिटोरियम और उसका काउंटडाउन चल रहा है वहाँ पे सेकेंड्स में बट वो सेकेंड्स मतलब मिनट्स में चलते हैं कभी कभी क्योंकि वो नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव की जगह पे फिर नाइन के बाद एक मिनट बीच में फाइट होती रहती है फिर सेवन दिखता है थोड़ी देर के बाद फिर और फाइट होती है फिर फाइव दिखता है तो दो सेकेंड के बीच में पंद्रह सेकेंड दे देते हैं वो लोग शॉर्ट्स बट वी कैन स्टिल फील द प्रेशर बिकॉज ऑफ द एडिटिंग इज सो टाइट दैट वो दो सेकेंड हमें दो मिनट भी दिखा देते हैं तो चल जाता है सो so expanded editing i had written that bomb about to explode person about to fall this kind of things which are uh, repeatedly uh, coming up and corrective editing iske bahut sare examples hone chahiye theek hai hum log hamesha hi karte hai corrective editing anything else uh, anybody wants to add on khana khazana corrective editing correct kis tarah se suppose khana banate banate jal gaya to wo dikhate nahi na humko वो ऐसा ही शॉट दिखा दे जिसमें ठीक से बना था राइट सो दे जस्ट राइट सो दैट इज राइट सो कोई क्या कहते हैं कोई फोन लगाने का शॉट है और फोन गिर गया तो वो शॉट कट करके दूसरा सडनली दे विल नॉट शो दैट दे विल शो क्लोज अप ऑफ द हैंड सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर डन फॉर द करेक्टिव एडिटिंग पर्पज सो दैट वी डोंट waste our time in this so now uh, with these four basic definitions can you think of some other editing technique anybody has seen any other thing okay so we move on to some very slight rules and regulations of editing uh, these are very very basic rules but uh, i'll try to explain that so everybody knows about the safe area right but why i have written that as the rule number 1 is because of the fact that uh, if you don't follow that like uh, right now i am so if 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 i forgot about uh, so if i write this and then i don't that i don't have the safe area planned in my thing so the so the heating procedure can become eating procedure right because the safe area was not imagined by the editor when he was titling that so uh, these kind of problems are very easily possible in uh, when we do our, our editing and most of the people forget to switch on the safe area options right so there is a option given in your uh, whatever software you edit there is always a safe area and unsafe area given as a option which is a overlay and uh, i remember jab pehli baar main editing console pe baitha tha mujhe maine off isliye kiya tha kyunki mujhe lag raha tha wo bhi aa jayega rendering mein shayad to fir mujhe bataya ki wo rendering bhi nahi aata hai wo tumhare reference ke liye sir so it will that those boxes will not come ऐसे वो बहुत खराब दिखेगा ऐसे दो बॉक्सेस क्यों चाहिए हमें 
they said this is only to tell you which is the safe area and which is not the safe area otherwise do not use it. So, the, it is a very important point to be remembered. Jab bhi hum log kaam karne, it also depends on the fact of the camera work. So, if you are shooting something and you are you want to uh, get the entire picture. So, you also have to remember that imaginary um, area which will be cut off as the unsafe area. So, every camera also in the viewfinder has the safe area and unsafe area markings. So, if you switch on that then recording would be far more easier. So, if you do not have enough uh, headroom or the side rooms then you will often find a problem that uh, it is getting cut or some things are getting chopped off. So, this also happens in some kind sometimes when you are shooting the green screen or the blue screen videos because if you have not followed that process then you would not get the entire head and when you are compositing that with something then you will have a chopped head there. So, that is a typical problem which happen. So, uh, for that reason I typically prefer that the safe area and unsafe area is a very very important thing and if you write it down and remember that that will be useful. Okay. So, what do I uh, mean by following the layout design? So, every shot particularly every um, video what we take will definitely have some kind of a graphic design built into it. So, yesterday Jagdish actually uh, uh, had shown some basic uh, principles of that. So, based on the same thing actually that is very useful when you do your titling or any other graphics on top of this. So, I will just take clue from what Jagdish had done. So, for example, we have the rule of third supplied here for anything what we are recording. So, we will have this four golden points what is typically called as, but and every like uh, Jagdish uh, had a presentation with some more photographs. So, the idea in that was like for example, we have a we have a shot of a, uh, a road here and with uh, lots of trees and buildings. So, what happens is this line becomes a useful graphic design element for us. So, now whatever we do suppose we have to put a title on, on this slide then it will be very important for us to use this graphic design element when we are putting design on that. So, now if, if we have to write suppose uh, uh, the road then there are different possibilities. We can write uh, the road like this which is in perspective with that. We can write if, if we are writing the road like this then it will it will clash or it will get merged with the background somewhere and we will have some issues. But if we write it here which will be useful for us to uh, to combine that with the graphic design what we have. So, then it will be a useful uh, graphic element for us. So, the the main uh, task of the designer is to use the elements which are made available by the uh, video what we get. So, if we get a video which has these principles then it is our important task is to use them uh, creatively so that we can create our uh, layout according. Similarly, in a in a video where we have a person sitting here then like what Jagdish was saying we have a triangle here right. So, now based on that we will have uh, whatever layout we want to make. So, we want to add a title we will possibly add the title of the person here and we will write the name because this will be a, a good layout as such also right. But you possibly cannot have a person here and the title coming like this right. But uh, every particular layout will show you some way outside. For example, if you have a, a tree here, now you will have a very large area to play around with right. So, you have to write suppose the tree uh, as a title to this then you have to make use of these graphic elements. So, like I said this is coming at the rule of thirds right. So, it is exactly at this point. Now, we have to play around with the other uh, golden points which are not used. So, if we put the tree here on this line then it stands well it you can put it here 
and it stands well, but you possibly cannot write it in the center here because it will be uh, completely ruining the whole layout which was very beautifully given to you. So, it, it happens in every case where you have suppose you have you have a sun here now, now you have to add certain things. So, you have to make use of that sun as one of the element of graphic design and use your other elements to complement it. So, in video also you have to use that as a guiding principle. So, so graphic design which is provided by the video is one aspect. The second aspect is about the graphic design which is provided by the action in the video. For example, there is a person in the video. Now, suppose this is the actual action. Now, it is the importance uh, is from the point of view of the cameraman where to put the camera, what should be the angle to, to shoot this. So, if we shoot it like this, right, so it will be completely blocking the uh, action of that person. If we shoot it like this, it will be even worse, but if we shoot it like this, it will be again bad. So, what we have to do is we have to give enough space for the person who is speaking for the hand action what that person is doing and based on the action then it will be easier for us to communicate what that person is trying to say. So, now if we have a layout where this side has slight blank area, then it will enable the viewer to understand the importance of that action, otherwise that will not be useful. Similarly, when you have to add another graphic design element to that like titles or something, you have to make use of that action in a way that it will be adding to the whole value. So, when you are doing this, possibly if you are animating the title to come inside, you cannot have the title coming like this, right, because the action is horizontal. So, your title cannot be vertical. So, because of the, uh, there will be a clash between the actions for these things. So, typically if you do not have anything, you can, you can at least have the title here, which is, uh, which is easily understood and it is complementing the action which was done by the, the person who was acting in that particular shot. So, that is a, a graphic design element which you have to remember and then act accordingly for this particular thing. The third important thing which I had written there was about the action axis. Now, uh, there are uh, some very senior filmmakers here and they will uh, know about it very well, but let me also touch base that. So, like we had this uh, exciting uh, assignment of shooting a interview in our first or second uh, days. So, wherein we said that, uh, okay, so suppose this is a person here and the other person is uh, sitting here. So, if this is the particular thing suppose, so how will we have the different uh, shots. So, that is the, that was the uh, assignment which we discussed. Now, based on this assignment, there are certain principles which will be used for by the editing people. Now, in every situation like this, where are, there are two people interacting with each other, there is something which is called as the line of axis. Right. So, this is the axis line. Now, this axis line is very important because when you see suppose for example, we have now a camera here, we have a camera here, right. We also have a camera here and we have a camera here, right we may be, we have another camera here. So, we have five cameras now, suppose 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what will be the uh, shot of cam, uh, camera number 1? So, we will just uh, try to draw it here. So, camera number 1 will show uh, the shoulder of this person and the complete face of the other person. So, something like this, right. 
So, we will have a shot like this. On camera 2, we will have the reverse of this. So, we will probably have the shoulder of this person and the full face of the other person. So, this will be camera number 2. Camera number 3 will have both of them in profile, right. Camera number 4 will have maybe a 3 fourth angle of this person, not a complete front, but a 3 fourth. And camera number 5 will have the reverse of the earlier one, where we will have the, the shoulder shot of this person, right. So, these will be the 5 shots. Now, when you are doing the editing of this, if you have the 5 different shots with you, con, con, continuously coming into your system now and you have to edit. The principle is that you cannot go beyond this line directly. So, you cannot have, uh, you cannot cross the axis lines in both ways in, uh, in one shot. So, suddenly you, uh, because now with these 5 shots, people have understood that according to the location there, the person A and the person B, even if they are sitting in front of each other, uh, A is on the left and B is on the right. So, once that is established in this shot, like typically all the interviews will start with camera number 3, where they will have both the people there. And once it is established that A is on the left and B is on the right, then the editing becomes very important that in all the sequences what you show, you cannot goof up by showing uh, or making people feel that the B is on left and A is on the right. So, you cannot do that and that happens typically because if you show shot number 1 and 2 one after the another or shot number 1 and 5 one after the another. So, uh, the best bet to avoid these things is to show shot number 1, then show shot number 3. And then you can show shot number, uh, suppose he is asking the question. So, you can have shot number 3 in the beginning, you can uh, have his question in shot number 4, again show shot number 3 and then show 1, where you constantly make people believe that okay, this is the, sh this is the wide angle shot where the both of them are seen and he is asking the question, then his question in close up, then again show the master shot and then show the answer in close up. So, that you do not cross that line every now and then. So, otherwise if you keep on jumping from this side to that side, then people will get confused as to what is uh, the actual location. It becomes even more problematic if you are doing a outdoor, because in outdoor you will have certain background, which will have uh, certain um, buildings or certain trees, which will be very uh, unique actually sometimes. And sometimes if they are similar, then people will start forgetting who is sitting where, otherwise they are moving continuously. So, that is very important to not to cross the line of axis and uh, that will establish the location of the characters very importantly, because if uh, especially in interviews that will not be a problem, but in fictional sequences that will be very important. If you are showing a person standing in front of his house and suddenly uh, the editing starts behaving in a bad way, then you will not recognize the location also after a point. So, these kind of mistakes are very common and uh, people do these mistakes. So, you have to be very sure about uh, the way you are planning for that particular sequence. So, this was uh, one, uh, one kind of uh, rule I thought I will uh, touch base on. The additional uh, rule what I was actually looking at, I will just show that is. So, What is happening in this sequence is uh, we are trying to show how lightning happens. So, how is uh, lightning caused? So, what is the scientific principle behind the lightning? Now, the point is uh, uh, that is what I am coming back to this particular, I am ending uh, with this because it has importance in the editing what we are going to do now. So, uh, regarding that I thought I will just discuss this point. So, lightning is a scientific principle, everybody knows ki jab barish hoti hai tab bijli aap barasti hai aur hame dikhai deti hai. Kis tarah se hoti hai, iska explanation ek jaga pe unko animate karke dikhana tha. Toh unho ne do tarah ka animation kiya. Ek 
जगह पे उन्होंने सिर्फ वो एनिमेशन दिखाया कि यहाँ से हवा जाती है वो गर्म होती है ऊपर जाती है बादल बनते हैं और ऊपर जब एक पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर के आगे चले जाते हैं तो बादल कोल्ड हो जाते हैं फिर वो आपस में टकराते हैं अगर नीचे से आने वाले गर्म हवा और ऊपर के कोल्ड बादल और फिर वहाँ पर बिजली हो जाती है निगेटिव पॉजिटिव पोल्स जब ये हो जाते तो इस तरह से उन्होंने पूरा डिस्क्रिप्शन दिया हुआ है प्रॉब्लम ये है कि जब हम एनिमेशन देखते हैं उसको सो देर इज़ अ बिग चांस ऑफ वी गेटिंग कन्फ्यूज विद द होल आइडिया बिकॉज वी हैव नॉट सीन इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज़ अ इमेजनरी थिंग हवा को देखा नहीं है किसी ने गर्म हवा और ठंडी हवा में डिफरेंस को पता नहीं चल सकता है हमको सो वेन वी आर एनिमेटिंग दैट दे हैड अ टू टाइप्स ऑफ एनिमेशन डन वन वॉज डन जस्ट विद द ग्राफिक्स तो उन्होंने हवा को एनिमेट किया उन्होंने क्लाउड को दिखाया उनका टकराव दिखाया बिजली दिखाई एक उन्होंने वो किया सेकेंड विथ ऑडियो ऑफकोर्स द सेकेंड थिंग वॉट दे डिड दे डिड द सेम वीडियो एंड दे पुट सम टाइटल्स बिलो दैट एंड दे फाउंड दैट द पीपल हु हैड देवर देवर गिवन टू थिंग्स दोनों दिखाया लोगों को तो जिनको टाइटल्स uh, के साथ दिखाया उनको ज़्यादा समझ में आ गया कि ये क्या हो रहा है वहाँ पे बिकॉज जो चीज़ वो एक एक बार देख चुके हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू सी द शॉर्ट हीयर उसका वो पेड़ और वो बिल्डिंग ये कॉमन है स्टैटिक शॉट है जो भी हो रहा है वो बाकी जगह पे हो रहा है तो वो एनिमेशन देखते देखते वी आर कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन लॉट ऑफ अननेसेसरी थिंग्स बिकॉज दे आर बींग शोन सो टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दैट जब नीचे टाइटल्स आना चालू हुए तो हमें पता चला कि एग्जैक्टली exactly क्या देखना है ये ये शॉर्ट में ये शॉर्ट में हमें देखना है कि कैसे बादल ऊपर जा रहे हैं तो ओके आई विल ओनली कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दैट एक्शन नाउ आई विल नॉट सी एनी एल्स सो उन्होंने बोला बाद में कि बादल ऊपर जाके टकराते हैं तो आई विल ओनली सीट ऑन द टॉप नाउ आई विल नॉट सी एनी एल्स तो इस तरह से होने के वजह से देन इट वॉज वेरी ईजी फॉर पीपल टू अंडरस्टैंड द साइंटिफिक प्रिंसिपल्स 